We're here on this beautifully sunny but freezing cold morning on the borders of Scotland at one of our satellite farms, Upper Nisbet Farm. We're here with one of our partners, the Crow team, and we're here to see them demonstrate and do some further research on their grain swimming robot that's looking to revolutionise grain storage monitoring. My name is Lorenzo, I am founder and managing director at Crover. Uh, we are a startup based in Edinburgh and we've developed the world's first subterranean drone, or what we call a crover. So the main crover, it moves through grain. Uh, we usually say it swims through grain. It mixes the grain in situ as it's moving through them, which helps maintain their quality. And it also measures temperature, moisture and stock levels. So Crover, incredibly exciting, is a world first innovation. No one to this point has come up with a robot that can swim within all kinds of granular materials. So the Crover effect is a novel physical effect which I discovered during my PhD at the University of Edinburgh, which represents the first feasible method for locomotion through granular materials. Traditionally, investments in the farming and agricultural sectors have been focused primarily on the field and on the fork part of the supply chain and the middle has been forgotten a bit, which is why we feel that middle stream is the one with the highest inefficiencies. The Crover Robo and our technology can be applied more widely to any bulk, solids and powders enabling more efficient management of this type of materials with applications that were not possible before as it was simply not possible to move below the surface of this type of environment. The main method used by most grain storage operators, if they do anything at all, is manual sampling by having a person physically walk on top of the grain bulk with a heavy and spear and taking samples or their measurements at a few points near the surface of that bulk. That is very tiring, time consuming and also pretty dangerous. So from a health and safety point of view, especially for larger companies with employees, that is quite a nightmare. Hi, I'm Robert Newell. I uh, farm here at Upper Nisbet. So our role with this Crover project has been providing access to this grain store and letting the guys come in when they want and use the grain piles in this shed to test out their robotics that they are developing. So the current challenge is on farm or wh whether it's at a central grain storage is um, temperature and moisture. So you need the correct temperature and you need the correct moisture to be able to store grain long term. The problem is that usually you're not able to control your processes or you know, the conditions of your bulk storage because you're dealing with such large quantities. The price of food, the price of grain, we cannot afford for wastage anymore. About uh, 630 million tonnes of grain are lost every year during the storage phase alone, which is quite a significant portion of the global grain production. Uh, wastage could be hot spots, uh, grain heating, going mouldy, mycotoxins growing in the store, uh, which at that point that grain cannot um, enter the food chain. It's basically a wasted product, so it's no profit for me. It costs money to get rid of. It's not a nice position to be in, to be honest. So we need tools in the toolbox to allow us to look after and store grain food safely on farm or at a central storage site. The system has multiple parts to it. At the core of it, you have the Crover robot that is connected either through wire or wireless, depending on the version, to a local control unit, which helps control the rover. It sends that data then to a central gateway where you have one gateway per site which sends the data back to our secure database and then eventually the data is visualized through 3D maps and histograms on our Saving Grains web platform. My name is Artem Okyanov. I'm a mechatronics engineer and technical director at Grover. I think this is a very interesting problem. The grain, it behaves like a sand and a little bit like a water, but it's also different and it's also highly abrasive and it's also everything that we make needs to be food safe. So initially we started based on simulations and some initial concepts that uh, Lorenzo developed during his PhD. And then we tried to put them into the physical shape. There was lots of trial and errors. We've been here about 10 times to do various tests. It's really important to come and test uh, on the farm 
different uh, versions and prototypes to get full feeling of the motion of the device. So AgriEpi, as with many of our projects, is involved on a number of levels on this. Primarily, of course, to partner Grover with Robert at Upper Nesbit, which has been particularly helpful given the size of his grain storage unit here. In the laboratory, we have a limited space and we only have like a small pool size. On the farm, the, the bulk is much more loose and there is more grain, there is a different effects. You could have different heels, different shapes. So quite often we test in the laboratory and the robot may work, but in the farm it may not work or, or it could be the, the contrary as well. Of the many services and facilities that AgriEpi Centre can offer our members and project partners is access to our satellite farm network. A lot of technologists working in this sector find it very difficult to find partner farmers who are able to not only offer up the ability to run testing and trial on their farms but are set up and interested to work with innovators. So we've got a network of 24 farms across the UK across all different sectors in farming. Being involved is really exciting, you know, it's, it's all about the next generation in, in farming, younger generation, getting people to come and work within agriculture and all these things can make agriculture, can make working on a farm more sexy. We are involved in project dissemination, so making sure that the vital research and development that happens on projects like this then gets out um, to a wider audience, whether that be other farmers, technologists, or in the case of this project, vital customers within grain storage and monitoring. The impact that Crova or the robotics that they're developing could make our storage facilities streamlined. So what I'm looking for is a tool that will send me moistures and temperatures of bulk grain at any time, real time, whether it's through an app on mobile phone or to the cloud-based system to the desktop in the farm office. It's going to save time on me sending staff into the grain store and taking individual samples, which is a bit of a laborious job. So savings using our system uh, currently are heavily dependent on what our operator does, but we've estimated that you would be able to save on average at least 80% of losses compared to current practices. Potentially even 100% if you've got the right systems in place and if you act in a timely manner. In terms of grain storage, we're enabling accurate integrated pest management practices which help maintain the quality of the stock and make sure that the same quality of grain that goes into storage is the one that comes out. We're nearly two years in lockdown, COVID, things have ground to a halt in the country, but agriculture hasn't, producing food hasn't, and we need to produce food and keep it safe. We proposed this project together with AgriEpi. We applied in the UK uh, for, for this project. We were lucky enough to be awarded the grant, and then we started the project with AgriEpi and East Scotland and Farmers. The reason AgriEpi is so important in collaborative projects like this is everything from our extensive member network and network beyond that, our series of hubs and research and development centres across the UK, our satellite farm network. All of these things come together with our internal expertise around technical and project management and allow us to help organisations like Crover to connect with the right people, whether that's across industry or whether it's farmers like Robert, and also to help them to connect with customers and understand how to get from ideation through to commercialization of their innovation projects. Thanks to the support from AgriEpi, from Robert and a lot of other organizations, we've been able to overcome a lot of the challenges that startups have to face. We at the AgriEpi Centre are part funded by Innovate UK and this project was also funded by Innovate and was part of their ISCF Transforming Food Production Fund. So this project has been going roughly two years at this point and is coming towards the end of the actual project. Crover as a product has got a lot of legs in it. Crover have already raised some further capital through Crowdcube and have another grant fund coming through. There's a lot of more development to happen and we're very excited about the next steps for Crover. The finished product, we are hoping to make it at least IP rated, so it's protected against the dust and humidity or moisture or water ingress as well. It will be a game changer for the industry going forward. And there's way more there that we want to do. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah. <laughs> so with a series of grants with Innovate UK and DEFRA coming up in 2022, of course we're looking for the next set of innovators like Crover who have got exciting technologies that they want to take to the next step and we encourage anyone with those sort of technologies at whatever stage they are to get in touch with us to see how we can best help them with our services and facilities. Mm -hmm.